Samsung recently came out with their 9100 Pro SSD, and this thing is fast. So we here at Micro Center got to thinking, how fast can we build a PC? So today I'm gonna see how long it takes me to make a PC with the 9100 Pro. Fast PC build, fast SSD. So Jordan, how fast do you think you can get this thing built and to the post? Okay, to the post screen, I'm gonna say conservatively 50 minutes. All right, are you ready? Yeah, all right, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, timer started, oh boy. So everything's already laid out for you, and this will be our challenge to everyone that wants to replicate this. All the items out of their box, laid out on the bench behind him, no unboxing necessary. So right off the rib, Jordan, going with the Asus ROG Strix X870E-E, -E, and pairing that with a blazing fast AMD Ryzen 9 9950X3D. So already coming off to a pretty intense build, going right into the RAM and the SSD. You're making short work of this, I'm not gonna lie. A lot faster than I would have thought. Goes over to the iFixit Precision Toolkit. All right, going for the SSD installation now? Yep, it's, oh, it's got screws. It's got screws, it's slowing me down. Oh, oh there's, man. wait, it's all Oh no, slowing right. down quick. So now the star of the show, the Samsung 9100 Pro NVMe drive. Now Jordan, I know you think you are fast. But this drive has read speeds up to 14,800 megabytes per second. I got it. And this is a four terabyte, by the way. Oh, man. So it's going to be really fast. Oh, and I really love the little capacity. clip. Right, That's sweet. Go. Yeah, it's a little latch there, see? So it actually makes it a lot faster. The 50 minutes definitely seems manageable. Now, all of that including not have to worry about cable management. The case does have to close, though. As long as the case closes, it's considered a complete build but you can't be sloppy with it. No using the motherboard box, no yep. tricks like that. Oh my God, I can't get these screws. We have seen that in, in past Micro Center videos with some of our influencers we've worked with. Oh my God, why am I struggling on this? Oh, these screws are really slowing you down. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm good. One, two, two more. Three and four. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna do the RAM. Onto the RAM, you're going 32 gigs, Flare X5 from G-Skill. Mm -hmm. See this in a, a lot of our bundles. I do think it's always good to upgrade to that 32 gigs, get a little extra, especially in a high-end build like this. Two minutes and 45 seconds in, puts the motherboard aside. Where are we going, case? Yeah, I'm going straight in. So this case, this is the Fantex Eclipse G400A. A lot of room to build. Was that part of the strategy when picking this out? Actually, I picked this one because it already has the fans pre-installed. Ooh. That's is, why. That feels like an edge. Well, yeah, maybe. Use of the magnetic tray. Right. We do carry those. And that's gonna help me keep my time down because everything will just be stuck here. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I got the little out. tiny screws. This is where you're gonna need to make up time. I got this. It's not so bad so far, I can get this. No, I'm making good time, no catastrophic errors. I think this is one of those everyone thinks they can do better until they're under the spotlight. Yeah, I gotta say, when I do this normally, it's kind of a breeze, but now I feel the pressure. Didn't you build a PC recently? How long did that take you? Well, if, if I would have just gone to Micro Center and had everything built for me, it would have taken me no time at all. <laughs> However, on my own, had some fan issues that I had to resolve, so definitely several hours. I did make several trips to Micro Center, did talk to several associates, I'm not even gonna lie. Hey, utilize what you have. Mm -hmm. Coming up on the screws, how many you got in there? I have two left, so that's seven screws. I'm just having a hard time because they're all in the pouch together, so I have to find the right one. Tell you what, the iFixit Precision Screwdriver though, coming in clutch. I like using it for builds. I mean, I could use different screwdrivers, but I'm just kind of used to it. Also like the magnet's really nice. It does a good job of like, see? The magnet's really nice. And I just like how small and kind of add, you get all this, the spaces. You don't have to worry about like a big bulky screwdriver getting in the way. Okay, so I'm coming up on the air cooler. I know that this one's kind of easy. Now order's important of... All right, so listen. Putting this on now could get in the way. You got two extra fans. Are we putting those in? I'm gonna get the fans in. 
I'm gonna get the the little doohickeys are gonna be in there. The classic doohickeys. I don't open this guy. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what are we at? Six minutes? Okay, that's not bad. I feel like I'm doing okay. I feel like you're crushing it, to be honest with you. It'll be interesting to see when other people attempt this challenge, what order they go, if there's any discrepancies. Well, this is our first time doing this, so we need to figure out, like, what should the baseline rules be, right? Like, it should just be set equipment across the board, or yeah. like set parts. Well, pre-installed fans, I think, is gonna be a huge advantage to you. Well, I think there's like different brackets, right? Because you could do like air-cooled, no fans. That's true. You yeah, could do AIO. Whole, whole bracket leaderboard. You could do a full like AIO with LCD fans and LCD everything and all the controllers and streamers and everything else. And you have to upload like an image of Micro Center on every fan for it to qualify. You know, things like that. Now for the cooler, you're going with the Phantom Spirit 120 SE. Air cooled was a choice mm -hmm. to, to cut down on time much quicker. Well, this one's gonna do really well with the 9950X3D. Like, it's a dual tower, it's gonna keep it nice and cool. But also, like, price to performance on these is really, really good. Yeah, I was actually pretty surprised when we were talking price points, what everything was. Okay, red must be AMD, right? Yes. Usually a safe bet. What, uh, this is a, a big important point here, what thermal paste pattern are you going with? Okay, this is AM5. Since the 9950X3D has this like funky kind of shape, I think I'll just do like a simple like, honestly, just a big old dot. Oh my god, I put this, I put the screws in without putting the bracket in. You're distracting me. That's part of the challenge too. You know, you, you have to have adversity. Do you right. feel like that's an appropriate amount of thermal paste? I think that's fine. I've got the plastic off, so I know that's on correctly. Where do you stand in the thermal paste community of appropriate amount? Just a uh, big old dot on, you know, a non-speed building challenge with that change or alter how you'd feel? I mean, you shouldn't put too much because then it's just gonna like make a mess. And if you ever need to do anything to your CPU. <gasps> no, why do I keep missing this? What am I doing wrong? I'm gonna triple check. This is where you lose time, folks. The panic is setting in. You've just hit the 15 minute mark. Not to add any more pressure. I feel the pressure. But there's pressure. Oh, okay, finally. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, Jordan, you lost a lot of time on the cooler. What happened? I don't know. I couldn't get it to line up on the thing for some reason. I was having a really hard time there, but it's good. I'm alternating pressure. Oh, do I have to make it look pretty? I just, guess just has to function as it's intended to function. Cameraman Kev, I don't know if you saw that. Blood, big, sweat, and tears. Big sweat on this. Blood, sweat, and tears has gone into this build. Okay, 18 minutes. I'm actually feeling okay. 18 minutes, that's not bad. I thought I was at like 25 minutes or something. CPU fan header, boom, right there on the top. This is all RGB. So this one. RGB, this. not necessary, but does look good. Could get you bonus points. I don't know what those bonus points do necessarily. RGB header right here. You could get them. All right, plugged in. It does not look great, but the case will close. So I can live with that. 20 minutes and 55 seconds. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I'm looking good. I, do you think I could beat like 35 minutes? I'm actually feeling kind of confident now. I think I'm going to regret that statement very soon. I think soon. it's going to be tough. I think the depends on how quick you get this in. Because you got to think, you still have to go through the boot. You got to hit the post. Can't have any issues there. One issue not hitting the post could slow you down. Jordan, able to pick him up quick. He's done this a few times. Doesn't have to look good, just has to function, but still not having all the cables in the right place can lose you some time. All right, where's my screwdriver? This power supply we finally have gotten there is the Corsair RM850E. What do you mean finally? It hasn't been that long. It's 31 minutes, that's not bad. You know what else ensures compatibility? Our custom PC builder. I do love our custom PC builder. <laughs> it's it prevented works. me from making so many mistakes. It works really, really well. Back panel going on. That was the stipulations, right? That is the stipulation. The back panel has to close. Oh, yeah, I'm doing right. Even if you have to smush it in there. I'll tell you what I think you'd, 
think you did it actually. Right. Oh, oh, oh no. Hold on. You know, I'm spending more time doing this. I could have just- Just routed the cables correctly? Yeah, I could have just done it right the first time and then just not have to worry about this at all. It looks like you do have it on. Still have to install the GPU. What GPU are you going with? I am gonna go with the 7900 XTX. Okay. Now I know it's tight with the 850 watt power supply, but it is doable. Shout outs to our friends at iFixit. Precision screwdriver saving the day. Boom, there we go. GPU's installed. Now, I think the real question is, did I do the fans correctly? That is important. Everything has to function as it's intended to. I think that's the part that's really gonna set me back if I messed it up, like if I didn't do the fans correctly. Well, you will have time, 36 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay. That under 50 minute range, still very achievable. You really shouldn't rush these things if you're building for the first time. You should really take your time. You shouldn't rush them at all, unless you're in some sort of speed building competition. Everything's working, RGB's working, fans are all on. Ooh, that's a nice little. I hear one of the cables hitting the fan that has yep. to be fixed. Uh, I got a code for the RAM. That's what's tough, you make that mistake, you have to undo other things, you have to undo the, the fans on the CPU cooler. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so it was just memory training. Yeah, it was just training. took a little memory. bit longer. Yeah, you know, I got antsy and reseated the RAM. I should have just, that cost me. The patient, bit. and that that is. I, I know, I know, I got Who knows anxious. how long, wait. Yes, oh, stop it, stop it. All right, you did it. You hit your goal, under 50. Yes. This gives me so much anxiety, <laughs> just looking at it, like over my shoulder. I was sweating so much, but we did it. I'm actually proud of myself. And that is our fastest build so far with the fastest SSD available at Micro Center. So remember, you could stop by your local Micro Center to get your hands on the 9100 Pro. Check out our review of the 9100 Pro SSD because you could see just how fast it really is. There's a link somewhere. Yeah, the link will be floating up here somewhere. Yep. So make sure you check out that video and also make sure you stop by your local micro center. And remember, if you don't have a micro center near you, then comment hashtag, I want a micro center near me.